Have you ever thought about how a calculator calculates a math problem? Math operations like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication etc are carried out so easily by a calculator. When you press a button on the keypad, the corresponding number or result is displayed on the small display screen of the calculator. But how does such a small system perform so many operations and functions by using different devices like keypad and LCD? To start with, such a system is called an embedded system. An embedded system is a combination of computer hardware and software designed to execute a specific function. And yes, a calculator has a pre-installed software in it. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about the embedded system in brief. Another example of such a system is an automatic washing machine. You just have to put the clothes in the machine and rest operations are done by the machine only. These operations include washing, rinsing and spinning. And there's a circuit paste inside the washing machine. This circuit carries out the instruction for all such automatic operations. Hey guys, this video on embedded systems is one of the videos from my course ABC of Everyday Electronics. If you are a beginner and want to learn Arduino in a fun and easy way, you can get this ebook absolutely free with this course. More details at the end of the video. So how can you define an embedded system based on this? As given in Wikipedia, an embedded system is like a computer system which is the combination of the computer processor, computer memory and input-output peripheral devices. And such a system has a dedicated function within a larger mechanical or electrical system. In simple terms, the embedded system is an intelligent electronic circuit or device that consists of the following three important parts. Input, controller and output. And their main characteristic is that they are task specific. They perform a single task within a larger system. For example, a mobile phone is not an embedded system. It is a combination of several embedded systems that together allow it to perform a variety of general purpose tasks. So the embedded systems within it perform the specialized functions. Some more examples of embedded systems are a digital camera, mp3 players, video game consoles, DVD players, and household appliances such as microwave ovens, washing machines, and dishwashers. If you like this video, then you will definitely love my new course on basic electronics. This course is for anyone wanting to learn everyday electronics such as chargers, batteries, components, and more. Throughout the course, I have explained the concepts using animations, simulations, practical circuits, and examples. There are a total 5 chapters in this course, and one chapter is on embedded systems. So if you purchase this course right now, you get a free Arduino ebook, Master Arduino without any hardware, for free with this chapter. On top of that, you can get a 50% off by using coupon code ET50. This is a limited time offer guys, so hurry up.